Hey, this is Justin from BreakIntoCRE.com, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about interest-only loans in real estate and how interest-only loans are going to affect your returns on a real estate deal. So if you're trying to decide on what financing works best for you and your specific situation, make sure to stick around for this video. Now on this channel, we talk about real estate investing careers and real estate financial analysis. So if you're looking to break into the industry or you're in the industry and looking to advance your career, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, if you've been in commercial real estate for a while, you've probably heard of an interest only loan before. And an interest only loan in commercial real estate is exactly what it sounds like. It's a period of time during the loan term where you're only going to be responsible as the borrower for interest payments rather than interest and principal payments on the loan. Now at face value, that might sound like a pretty good deal and a no brainer to do, but in this video, what I wanted to do is break down how interest only loans are going to affect your key returns on a real estate deal. Now there are three really big effects that an interest only loan will have on your deal and your return metrics versus an amortizing loan. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Now, the first and probably the most obvious is that an interest only loan is going to increase your cash flow and your cash on cash return. Now, it's pretty clear that your cash flow is going to increase if you don't have to pay principal payments for that month. So, for example, on a $7 million loan at a 4.5% interest rate amortized over 30 years, you would pay $425,616 per year in total loan payments. But in that same scenario, if you assume the loan payments were interest only, you would pay only $315,000 per year, which would produce an additional $110,616 in cash flow during your interest only period. But when you look at it from a cash on cash perspective, meaning the cash flow that you received as a percentage of your equity invested up to that point, that's where you start to see even bigger differences. So if we assume that that $7 million loan is on a $10 million acquisition, that means we have $3 million of equity invested in the deal. So a difference of over $110,000 per year would mean a 3.7% difference in cash on cash returns each year, which is huge, especially for investors looking for a high yield on their deals. So for an investor base that is very focused on cash flow yield, adding an interest only period into your loan can increase your cash on cash returns significantly and take that value from three or 4% to maybe seven or 8%, which is a much more attractive number to investors. Now, even with higher cash flow on the deal, a downside of an interest only loan is that it is going to decrease your profits on the deal, assuming that everything else is equal. And the reason why this happens is because you're not paying down your principal balance every single month. And therefore you're paying higher interest payments every month than you would be if you were paying down that loan and paying down that principal balance. Now this usually isn't a huge dollar amount, but it is something to be aware of if you're not cash on cash focused or focused on the next metric that we're going to talk about the internal rate of return. So as far as the internal rate of return or IRR goes, the third thing that an interest only loan will do for otherwise identical cash flows is increase your internal rate of return. And you may be asking how that happens even if you have lower profits on the interest only deal. Well, the reason why is because the IRR is a time value of money calculation, meaning that the cash flows that you receive earlier on in the hold period are worth more than the cash flows you receive later on in the hold period. So even though your total profit will go down, you'll be receiving much higher cash flows earlier on in the hold period, which will boost that internal rate of return. So if you and your investors care about cash flow upfront and want to be able to reinvest that cash flow early on in the hold period, an interest only period will allow you to do that. So at the end of the day, what can you take away from all of this? Well, the first thing is that if you're looking for cash flow and your investors are looking for a cash on cash return, an interest only loan period during that loan term is going to be your best bet to do that. This can also be a huge help when you're undergoing a renovation at a property and you're expecting some lower occupancy rates and maybe lower rental rates over the next 12 to 24 months. Another thing to take away is that if you're a sponsor or putting the deal together and you're compensated based on internal rate of return or IRR hurdles, adding an interest only period into your loan term 
is going to be beneficial to increasing that internal rate of return and increasing your profit split at the end of the day, assuming you hit those required returns. But with all of that said, where you may wanna be cautious on an interest only loan is if you're just planning to buy and hold a property for the long term, you don't really care about cash flow and you're mostly focused on wealth accumulation over time. If that's the case and you wanna maximize profits on the deal, adding an interest only period to your loan term probably isn't the most advantageous thing you could do. Now, there are a lot of ways that real estate financing structures can affect your returns on a commercial real estate deal. So if you wanna learn more about that, real estate finance and real estate financial modeling in general, make sure to check out my free real estate financial modeling crash course, and I'll link that in the description below. So if you wanna see more content like this, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.